I think maybe I can try clipping through the wall here. And that should... Wow. What's up, fruit pies? We're back. This time we're going to Coyote. I'm going to put this Accurate Extra Turn Explorer in my bag because uh, you know I love the Accurate Trait. I took out the Musket, so I think the Accurate Extra Glide Explorer should go the same length as a regular Musket, so there's no real reason to keep a Musket in my bag right now. But this is my basic bag. Basic. And the point of this is just to help some newer players out that might not have all the top tier discs. And I think I'm gonna go forehand because the wind is right to left. So if the if the wind is right to left, sometimes it's good to go forehand, although that didn't shop shape shot shape very well, so maybe the backhand is still better for this hole. So pretty much disregard this video and probably not gonna help that much. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I'm going to try the accurate extra turn, uh, explore for this one. I think this should shot shape pretty well. I'm going to give it a little bit of Anheuser, a lot of Anheuser, and okay, I th that should be pretty good as long as, it, yeah, I actually have a shot to the basket here. And I think I'm just gonna go for an explore, uh, extra turn recoil. No, I, I think I'll just go up and do a forehand. No, nope, I should have gone with the recoil. Extra turn recoil for that shot might be better to shot shape it, because then you won't be stuck around this corner. So, you know, let's see what I can do here. Um, I can't clip into the wall. I'll just, maybe I'll just go for like a roller into the cave and that'll be fine. <laughs> it didn't, probably didn't really matter what I did there. Almost missed the putt. All right. But I think two stars is five under. So I th we're still okay. Um, I'm gonna go extra glide pioneer here with a lot of Anheuser. That's not enough Anheuser, but I'm gonna, it's gonna work out. So the backhand, again, sorry lefties, I'm always saying backhand as if, maybe if you all go turn, uh, I think if you can go forehand on that hole, it might shot shape pretty well. But for the righties, I like the backhand to fade away from the out, out of bounds on the right side. I saw someone go out of bounds on that hole. Okay, this hole, I usually throw my musket. I know the Pioneer is more overstable, so I'm gonna aim to the left, and oh my gosh, it was not as overstable as I thought it was. I'm gonna rethrow, <laughs> restart, no, uh, I'll rethrow uh, <laughs> and try it down the middle here. And there, okay, so extra glide pioneer, and then it keep, keeps fading towards the basket. Very good. Um, for me, that hole, you want to use an accurate disc. So either the accurate extra glide pioneer is good, or if you have an accurate musket, I would go with that. But uh, just don't put too much, or just don't aim too far to the left like I did. This hole I like to go forehand with a ballista, although that kind of went too far. So forehand with a recoil might be good with that one. And I think maybe I can try clipping through the wall here. And that should... Wow. So don't try clipping through the wall. We're learning. Um, although I should, I should experiment to see if you if you're closer to the wall if you can. But probably you probably can't clip through those walls. I don't know why I keep trying it. 
<laughs> All right, for this hole, I like the Pioneer, but put a whole lot of Anheuser on this one. Musket is good. I go forehand because it's downhill. And that's going to work out just fine. It's really... I like the way the forehand shot shapes on this hole, so that's what I try to do. Try to do here. And pretty, pretty straightforward throw in there. I'm actually coming out with a guide to throw-ins and putting, or I guess it depends on your definition of putting. All right, this hole, Pioneer backhand, you want to go inside here and let it filter towards the basket. That was actually one of the best outcomes. Um, so throw-ins like these, these short uh, 100 foot throw-ins. The tutorial is going to be about that. I am one of the best when it comes to throwing in the disc. So I will give all my tips and secrets and sh whatever throwing in the wind I'm I think I might need to make that tutorial two videos because throwing in the wind is a whole different thing um, so look forward to seeing that but let's see right now through eight holes we're five down so I think all we need is a par for the two stars and we'll meet our goal with the basic bag um, if you can get you can get birdie, and plus that one hole I restarted or rethrew, but that should be a pretty simple birdie for the most part. So uh, I can see new players being able to get seven down pretty easy. Let's see, I think I'm gonna have to do a big, big hyzer here, and that actually, at least I'm through the gap. Bounce off that, hopefully give me a look. For birdie and 174 feet but it's uphill so I'm gonna throw it a little harder and that was a little too hard but not bad I got the par uh, this hole is not is a pretty difficult birdie but it's a lot of fun this hole reminds me of like Star Wars like going through like a canyon but anyways uh, so that's it for that one we got the two stars Acura Extra Glide River, that's a decent disc. The other one is crap. But I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll, I'll, next I'm going to do a, a playthrough of Coyote with the advanced bag with all my bells and whistles. See y'all later.